Well, have you ever heard about the time when a group of senior citizens decided to take their tennis match from the sunny beaches of Florida all the way to the Amazon rainforest? No? Well, buckle up because this story is a grand slam of hilarity. It all started in the balmy, vitamin D-soaked coastlines of Florida, where the sun shines brighter than a new pair of bifocals. This group of seniors, known as the Silver Slammers, were as serious about their tennis as they were about their early bird specials. You know, tennis is a lot like retirement. It's all about perfect timing, precision, and knowing when to use your backhand. Now, the Silver Slammers, being the adventurous souls they are, decided that the Florida sun was a bit too mainstream for their taste. They wanted a change of scenery, something a little more wild. And what's wilder than the Amazon rainforest? Just imagine, crocodiles as line judges, parrots mimicking the sound of tennis balls, and the occasional monkey trying to join the doubles. Of course, there were some initial hiccups. For starters, they quickly realized that their tennis whites were not exactly the most practical attire for the jungle. And let's not even get started on the issue of finding a flat surface for a tennis court amidst the forest undergrowth. And who knew that mosquitoes had a particular liking for the taste of tennis enthusiasts? One of the silver slammers, a chap named Earl, even had a close encounter with a boa constrictor. But don't worry, he managed to use his tennis racket to shoo it away. After that, he was known as the Serpent Slayer, a title he wore with pride, right next to his world's best grandpa badge. But despite all the challenges, the Silver Slammers proved that age is just a number, and a little bit of jungle humidity is no match for a group of determined seniors with a love for the game. They played their matches, served their aces, and proved that tennis is a universal language understood by humans and monkeys alike. So, what have we learned from our adventurous Silver Slammers? that it's never too late to take on a new challenge, that tennis is a game best served, well, anywhere, and that senior citizens, whether in the sunny beaches of Florida or the wilds of the Amazon, will always find a way to have a good time. And the next time you think about a tennis match, remember the tale of the Silver Slammers. It might just inspire you to trade your traditional tennis court for a game amidst the trees, under the wide open sky. Just remember to pack some mosquito repellent and keep an eye out for those boa constrictors. That's all for now, folks. Remember, in the game of life, love means nothing in tennis. But in the Amazon, it could mean making friends with a curious monkey. Until next time, keep your serves strong and your adventures wild.